Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar run for the latest UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we are going to have a dry and fairly chilly next three or four days before we start to see rain returning into the weekend as we start to see westerly winds starting to re-emerge. It's going to be a real battle as we head into the final few days of September as we do see the high pressure to our east trying to hold on whereas the low pressure off the Atlantic continues to try to push in. Now, we are seeing some really conflicting views from the longer range charts today, with some keeping high pressure involved, giving us a pretty warm and dry start to October. Other runs, though, got lots of deep lows pushing in, could be pretty unsettled, stormy and cold. Really um, a lot of uncertainty within the model output, and it's all due to where that boundary between high pressure and low pressure sets up as we head into next week. At the moment, we don't really know, and that is causing some real headaches when we look at the models in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see we've got easterly winds coming in at the moment. And for most, it's dry. Yes, a little bit chilly with the fresh air coming in. The origins of this air is still in from the Arctic. And you can see along the east coast with that easterly breeze, picking up a bit of moisture over the North Sea, we are seeing a few showers this evening. Now, we're calling this around 8 p.m. And if we do look at the temperatures, they are starting to fall away quite a bit tonight. Uh, probably won't be quite as low as they were during Sunday night or even Monday night, where we have seen low single digits and isolated frost in a few spots. Uh, but still will be chilly. And again, when you add on the wind chill, it does make it feel like it's much later on in the year, like we're heading into the winter months, um, less so just coming out of the summer months. Now, if you head over to the latest UKV now, you can see not too much going on over the next few days. Again, with this easterly flow, it keeps it pretty dry, a few odd showers and some thicker cloud at times. As we head into the latter part of the week into Friday, we do start to see rain pushing in from the west. Now, at the moment, it's only impacting parts of the Republic of Ireland and maybe Northern Ireland during Friday, then further westwards into Saturday, where it does lose some of its intensity as it comes up against the high, and then it kind of stalls across England and Wales there during Saturday and Sunday before slowly clearing eastwards there through Sunday afternoon. If we look at the mean sea level pressure, you can see that we do see a slight lower pressure move through. Eventually, higher pressure actually builds back in, squeezing that lower way. So it's a really isolated low pressure system. It isn't going to bring a massive change, and that's because as it moves through, it does get squeezed away. The pressure rises, and we actually do end up much, much brighter uh, and drier there with the higher pressure returning. So hopefully in the subsequent days, we should see a return to some slightly brighter and drier conditions. Um, but longer term, that's where the uncertainty comes in. Will we see further Atlantic systems pushing in? Because if we do, then it could get pretty abysmal indeed. But as I said, we'll see from the long range charts in a few moments time, we could see that high holding on for a little bit longer. Um, and that would keep things a little bit more pleasant there into October. Now, if you look at the temperatures early this afternoon, really struggling around the mid to low teens in most spots, kind of 13 to 15, maybe touching 16 or 17 in a few isolated spots. Pretty chilly tonight down towards the mid to high single digits, not quite as cold as the last few nights, but still chilly nonetheless. Into Wednesday, temperatures slightly higher, 17, 18 or even 19. So starting to turn a little bit warmer, closer to average. And you see into Thursday, it's a similar story, chilly into the morning. But by the afternoon, could touch again 17 to 19 degrees. Friday, very similar day, cold start. And again, into the afternoon, could touch those mid to high teens. And then into Saturday, with that westerly wind pushing back in, could even touch maybe 20 degrees in the far east, but much cooler under that rain. And you can see fresher air again returns for Sunday. And again, by the afternoon, it is chilly under the cloud and rain. Only the low teens, 13 or 14 degrees at best but hopefully if that high does return and we see the slightly warmer air masses re-emerge then we could get back towards those high teens but at the moment it is that longer term where we've got the most uncertainty the next kind of four or five days bit of rain around friday to sunday progressing westwards to eastwards uh, but at the moment not expecting anything too major um, unless we see some sort of big big changes now, if you look at the latest GFS, high pressure is involved at the moment and continues to push in that easterly wind. We see that slight lower pressure system moving through there, sat Friday through to Saturday, but high pressure actually holds back on into early next week. And this is where we start to see the uncertainty. High pressure to our east, trying to hold on. Low pressure off the Atlantic, trying to push it away. And in this GFS run, 
the low pressure winds and it actually goes really unsettled maybe even stormy there with the isobars getting really tightly packed there towards northern scotland that clears we do see a little bit of a return to higher pressure and that high could start to return there towards the 8th 9th of october in sort of proper fashion with a bit of a southerly flow so the gfs here goes from uh, relatively dry with easterlies for the next kind of five or six days lower pressure returns during the middle of the run and then higher pressure with warmer temperatures returns by the end of the run so it kind of shows a little bit of everything here in this latest run now the gm is pretty similar at least in the short term easterly winds that low tries to approach off the atlantic because push through temporarily through the weekend but you see it gets squeezed away once again by higher pressure and then as we head towards day 10 the high pressure holds on yes we see some strain from the lower pressure but actually that high doesn't really go anywhere and you can see it just kind of extends back over the uk the upper air temperatures start to rise and to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if we saw those two meter temperatures at the surface getting back close to 19 or even 20 degrees if we are lucky so yeah really interesting seeing that huge discrepancy there between the gfs and the gm it's not just about the intensities of the low it's not about the exact air mass it's a completely different pattern change there it's a completely different overall um sort of pressure pattern with the high pressure low pressure gfs keeps low pressure pushing back in off the atlantic gm higher pressure dominates with very little intrusion there from the lower pressure now the ecm that we have goes even further High pressure involved, low pressure skirts through temporarily through the weekend. And then right towards day 10, we don't really see a sniff of higher pressure uh, of lower pressure at all. High pressure stays in control with a southerly or southeasterly wind. It looks pretty dry, pretty warm, and yeah, not too bad at all. We wouldn't expect there to be much precipitation either with the high pressure in control. Yes, rainfall will be close by at the Atlantic. We can see here we are still under the high here so we would actually be pretty blessed with the higher pressure dry sunny conditions there as we head into early october so to be honest the eastern we have is pretty amazing today got plenty of dry conditions potentially even plenty of warm conditions um and yeah not expecting any storminess or any big precipitation in the next kind of seven to ten days um apart from this of course a little bit of rain through this weekend so you can see what I'm talking about with some big discrepancy between the runs. If we go to the GFS and just go to day 10, we can see it's completely different. Low pressure barraging off the Atlantic, EC of the F, huge high pressure system involved. Now it's not too unusual to see discrepancies, um, but this time of year, the difference between sunny, dry, maybe 20 degrees and 10 or 11 and heavy rain and wind is going to make a, a big difference to sort of people's plans uh, and what goes on so hopefully we see a bit more cross-model consensus in the next few days but yeah a bit of a split split of the roads here um and yeah we'll have to wait and see exactly what those runs do develop now as we head to the ensembles you can see they're pretty split as well this is the latest gfs it's cool at the moment returns to average by the weekend uh, and into early next week precipitation is low to moderate and the upper air temperatures are around average or slightly above average now even with that west to southwesterly wind quite a few of those probably still will be above average just because the wind is coming in from the azores with that more more of a far-fetched southwesterly wind so temperature doesn't give it to, away too much but precipitation it's pretty moderate you know it's nothing spectacular at all so um yeah definitely some runs showing uh, that stormy pattern that the gfs was hinting at and, and definitely other runs that keep the high pressure involved um and not seeing any low pressure at all and we can see that in a little bit more detail if you look at the sea level pressure here you can see there is quite a lot of uncertainty here some really high pressure runs in seven eight nine days time some really low pressure runs as well it's getting down to kind of a thousand millibars and lower now of course we're expecting the center of the lows to be further out west so that's why we're not seeing anything ridiculously deep um but nonetheless a lot of uncertainty continues there and as i said it's not just slight alterations in positioning it is a completely different pattern high pressure or low pressure um potentially on kind of the two extremes as well maybe stormy conditions or maybe really settled conditions and if we do compare finally to the ecm at wf 
Again, it is pretty similar. Upper air temperatures do return towards average as we head towards early next week or at least latter portion of this week. Precipitation is low to moderate as we head towards the end of October. So definitely on probably more the side of the higher pressure there. Precipitation does pick up a little bit further into October, but it's probably not a lot uh, or not enough to sort of change my mind really on that overall theme. So definitely ECM the UF, similar, but perhaps slightly on the side of the higher pressure more than seeing the lower pressure. And you can see that again, if we look at the sea level pressure, you can see a little dip into the weekend, but a rise as we head into early October. Perhaps they're a more dominant high pressure system, uh, similar to what we saw from the operational run. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on what happens over the next couple of weeks. But for the time being, if you're interested uh, over the next few days, then got plenty of dry conditions, plenty of sunny conditions, feeling a little chilly, uh, but yeah, not too bad at all. Much prefer, uh, uh, much prefer these sort of conditions compared to seeing heavy rain and strong winds. So in my opinion, not too bad at all. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon.